In this video, I'm going to show you some tips for printing the uh, piece triangles in the border. In a previous video, I showed you how to print the center blocks and printing the triangles and the kites that's very similar to printing the center blocks, but there are a few little tips and tricks I can show you to make it a little bit easier because of how the border is set up. So like I told you in the previous video, you can do it two ways. Um, First of all, I do have the Master Quilt Project open, and I did save it with a new name. Again, that's very important. You open up the, the Dear Jane Quilt Master and then save it with a new name so you're not overwriting anything in that master project. On the quilt, I can print from here, but I'm also gonna show you how to print from the block work table. So if you have this project open, you can go to the sketchbook or you can open up a fresh clean project and just get the blocks from the library. Here I'm just using the blocks that are in this project. So if I wanted to print from the block work table, I would just open the project sketchbook, find the block I want to print and click edit. Now that it's on the block work table, I can choose print and export and choose my options that way. The only difference in doing it from the block work table or the quilt work table is that you would have to open the sketchbook every time to get the new block that you want to print. Whereas on the quilt work table, you're just selecting directly from the quilt. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm actually going to go back to the quilt work table and I'm going to show you how to print from the quilt work table instead of the block work table. So of course I'm going to go up to the print and export tab and I'm going to select a block to print. Now when I selected it, you can't really see that this triangle is selected. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm clicking on this and you can see a little bit of a green highlight down here, but you can't see that that whole block is selected. And that's because the, the blocks that are set on layer two are hiding what I'm trying to select. So just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna turn layer two off. And if you don't know what these layers are, make sure you watch some of the other videos and check out the documentation in the using with EQ PDF. Um, that tells you everything you need to know about using these layers. So I did turn off layer two and now you can see that this block is selected and this is the block that we're gonna print. So let's start with templates. And here it's choosing the U size from quilt size, which is five by eight, and this is a finished size. And you have the quarter inch seam allowance. And if you click preview, these are the templates for this block. Now, it's very important to know that this A and B triangle, which is what is here, this B and this A, you do not need those. Those patches are only for the setup of the, of the layout. So you do not need, you're not gonna sew these to the block. You're going to just delete those. You're gonna ignore those. So if you want to delete them, you select them and then click delete. And so these are the patches that you need. As you can see, these gray patches are the ones that we deleted. And the reason you're not needing them here is because when you actually do sew your quilt together, you will be sewing this triangle to this triangle. You won't be sewing this triangle to this gray patch first. You're gonna sew this triangle directly to this, the solid triangle next to it. So again, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go back to layer one and I'm going to turn this layer off, keep that selected and choose foundation. Now when I choose foundation, these outer triangles were purposely not sectioned or grouped together with this, the rest of the patches. So when you do preview these, those outer triangles do, are not included. So you won't need those by any means. Um, you can move these around to fit them all on one page and then go ahead and print when you're ready to print. And then rotary cutting, click over to the rotary cutting. Now in the previous video about printing center blocks, I did go into 
whether you want to have rounding on or off or to check your rounding. Again, just pay attention to what it's rounding it to because if your block needs to be um, rounded too much for rotary cutting, then this is probably not the best construction method for you to use. So um, if you have any questions about that, check out the printing center blocks video. I really go into what that can do for you. So I'm just going to preview this and see what it gives me. I'm going to zoom in. Probably not the best one for, for rotary cutting anyway, but you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. Again, the A patch and B patch, you'll ignore those and everything else is what you're going to want to print. Again, I don't think this is the best block for rotary cutting, but that is the example that I'm giving you. So um, use your best judgment with that. So that is how you print the triangles. The same goes for the kites. Now the kites also have this gray outer triangle on both sides. Ignore it on templates and rotary cutting. It won't show up on foundation patterns. So that's all you need to know. These are eight by eight blocks. These are five by eight blocks. So when you go to print these, see what we get with this one. Again, select and delete, select and delete. And these are the patches you need for that kite. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, you can check out our other videos or the, the printed PDF documentation, um, or you can contact our office and we can help you with any questions you have regarding printing the blocks in the border.